everyone in this episode I'm going to bake a keto chicken pie so let's get started So the first step in making our keto um, chicken pie is to uh, do the filling first because it needs time to cool. So if we do the filling first and then we can um, do the base. So um, these are the ingredients that we have for the pie. So um, firstly, I'm just going to add the avocado oil to the pan. Got our pan uh, on a high heat on nine. So here I have a small brown onion just diced. Let's cook that off first. And I'm just going to add two cloves of garlic. until the onions become translucent. This is two cups of button mushrooms, uh, which I've just finely diced. I'll just fry those off. Now I have 500 grams of uh, chicken mince, which I'll just pop in now. Now we'll just break up the chicken mince uh, so we don't have big gonks of it. I'm just going to add in a quarter of a cup of almond flour. This just helps to thicken up the sauce. Quarter a teaspoon of salt. And a quarter teaspoon of pepper. It's going to add in a tablespoon 
sour cream. chicken stock now we'll just bring that back up to the boil cups of our broccolini finely diced. And finally I'm just going to pop in a tablespoon of Vegeta. Now we just want to leave that to simmer for five to ten minutes just until that broccolini has started to steam its way through. Okay, so we'll leave that now for five to ten minutes and um, our sauce will thicken and our broccolini will cook. It will actually also thicken slightly. So we'll just pop the heat off and we'll set that aside and we'll get started on our base. So we've done our uh, filling and that is just cooling over on the counter and um, we're ready to get started on making our base. So the first thing we need to do, we just need to add all the ingredients into a bowl um, and then get it all mixed together and combined well. So we start with three quarters of a cup of almond flour. And we have a quarter of a cup of the coconut flour. sesame seeds a tablespoon of the psyllium husk teaspoon of the baking powder and a pinch of salt now we'll add in the um, liquid ingredients. Just give that a stir through. So we'll have three tablespoons of the olive oil. quarter a cup of water and one large egg I 
I feel the best way to really get in and get this mixed through, I mean, you could use a food processor, but um, I think hands are just as good, if not better. So we'll just get our gloves on. Uh, you don't need to use gloves. I just don't like the feeling of the food on my hands. So I'll just give that a really good mix through. Okay, so that's now formed into a ball and well combined. Uh, all that moisture gets sucked up by the psyllium husk and the coconut flour. I'm just going to use three quarters of it and leave a quarter of it for my uh, top of my pie. Okay. So whilst I was waiting for our a filling to cook through um, I just lined my expanding uh, pie tin and it's now ready for me to push this base out so I need to get a nice firm bottom on it and then push it up the sides can't have it too thin otherwise we won't have mixture staying inside. I'm just pushing that out and getting that up the side. Just um, going to turn the oven on to a fan forced 175. Okay, so I've pushed all that around and we've made our sides. So um, we just need to pop that into the oven now for 10 to 15 minutes to blind bake it. And just before I pop it into the oven, I will um, just fork it uh, so it doesn't explode. So I have my fork here, just pop holes in the bottom in the sides and we'll get that into the oven uh, for 10 to 15 minutes so whilst we wait for our um, pie base to blind bake um, I'm just going to prepare the top um, of our pie so I've just got the third of the mixture left to be able to do that. Um, because it's quite a sticky um, dough, 
I actually need to use the baking paper um, and that will just prevent sort of everything getting really messy. So just between two pieces of baking paper, I'm just pushing that out to get to a circle. And I'll use my rolling pin just to help me get that further flattened. So we obviously need to have it big enough to cover our pie. pie topped um, or filled and then when we're ready to have it topped. Okay so uh, that's now been uh, 10 minutes in the oven for our um, base so I'm going to grab that out. So as you can see it's nicely lightly browned um, so we're ready to go and add the filling. Okay. So before I add the filling, I just want to make sure that we've got the lid well covered, uh, which I think that is fine. So we'll just go ahead and add in our filling. So we just want to get that filling into a reasonable state. Just the liquid has fallen to this side. Get it over to the other side as well. with its filling. I'm going to go ahead and get this top on. This is fairly easy to deal with because um, it's quite sticky. all this together now and get topping. It's just so sticky. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Now we're going to pop this in the oven for on the bottom rack for um, 30 to 40 minutes. So I'll check it at 30 minutes. oven for 35 minutes so I'm going to pull it out and you'll see it's lovely and golden brown which is what we're looking for just turn off the oven so there we have it a beautiful chicken 
creamy chicken meat pie. Oh, yeah, meat pie. So we'll pop him over here. Okay, so we'll just let that cool off for five minutes before releasing it. So uh, I'll come back to you when we're ready to release the pie and show you uh, how it cuts. Okay, so we've left the pie for five minutes just so I could touch the pan before we release it. So I'm just going to release that now. Uh, hopefully, we won't have too many dramas. Just gonna go around the edges just to make sure. Just take it slowly when you're doing this, you can make sure that um, you don't rip the sides of your pie off. Okay, so that's now fully expanded. beautiful chicken pie. Okay, so let's get in and see if we can cut a piece. Thank you. 